But what about Ocasio-Cortez? She's on Instagram. <laughs> Ocasio-Cortez campaigned on a floor vote on Medicare for all. And she campaigned on creating what she called a ruckus, meaning you have to stop being polite. This is a quote. You have to stop being polite. We tried being polite and it got us nowhere. And it wasn't until we started acting out and speaking impolitely that we even created the circumstances for change. That's what she tweeted. So I'm just doing what she said. So I started to put heat on people like AOC and Rashid Tlaib and Ro Khanna and all the, the, the Justice Democrats and the squad to force the vote. And they said I was committing violence against them with my words. That's how scared they got. <laughs> Were you? That's how scared. You really telling them to, to do what they ran on? That's violence. That's how afraid they were. And all the things. So they had people write hit pieces on me in the Daily Mag New York Magazine, Newsweek, BuzzFeed. They tried to shut me down and squelch me. They made me trend on Twitter negatively. They, but they couldn't shut me up. And they couldn't stop me. And they don't know what to do with me. Because, again, all the usual. They have Wikipedia putting smears on me that I can't get rid of. CNN's calling me. It's unbelievable what's going on. Just a, a comedian, a pothead comedian in his garage. What you can do when you want to tell the truth inside journalism and politics. And you can create a ruckus. And I did. And so now everybody sees that those people are fakers. And they're corrupt. And the reason why I say they're corrupt is not because they take corporate money and do the bidding of corporations, but they're doing the bidding of their own career, right? Their own self-dealing. Yeah. So if I go along with the establishment, I'm going to get a book deal. I'm going to get speaking fees and I'm going to be in Congress for at least five years and then I get a pension for the rest of my life. That is corrupt. And that's why they're not pushing back because Nancy Pelosi can come in and crush you. Hey, we'll fund somebody in a primary to your left. Just like she did to Joe Crowley, AOC, right? So that's what they're all afraid of. They're afraid of the power of the establishment taking away what little power and, uh, that they have in Congress.